Al Inspector back with you and joined as I am every Tuesday and Thursday at this time by veteran Orlando attorney Tom Olson for Olson on Law. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Alan and crew and WFLA listeners. All right, our topic this morning, Tom, the doctrine of necessaries. Sounds like something out of the 1800s, doesn't it? But uh, what is the doctrine of necessaries and why is it important for us to know about it? Alan, it's important because people call me all the time and tell me that their spouse has passed away and they want to know if they are responsible for their spouse's medical bills and credit cards. The doctrine of necessaries would say that they are responsible for their deceased spouse's necessary medical bills and credit cards. Often it's applied mostly to the medical bills. Does Florida have a doctrine of necessaries? Well, we did until just a few years ago when it was struck down by the Florida Supreme Court. So no longer, we don't have it. So are you liable for your spouse's medical bills, credit cards, etc.? So the good news is that you are not. But when you check somebody into a hospital, whether it's a friend or a spouse or a neighbor or anybody else, make sure that you do not sign on the dotted line saying that you were responsible for the medical bills. Have your spouse sign that document. All right. If you have legal questions about the doctrine of necessaries or anything else, Tom will be pleased to answer them on the Olson on Law Show. You can hear that Saturdays at 10 a.m. here on News Radio WFLA. Tom, thanks very much as always, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, Alan. And remember, for all of your legal needs, call the Olson Law Group in Orlando.